Hi, I'm Peter Webb, one of the developers on the MATLAB production server team. MATLAB production server allows you to deploy your algorithms to the web or host them in the cloud. Today, I'm going to show you how to call deployed functions from your MATLAB desktop with MATLAB client for MATLAB production server. This MATLAB app uses machine learning on sensor data to predict the remaining useful lifetime of a motor on a factory floor and to monitor that motor for anomalous behavior like drawing too much current. The machine learning algorithms use some custom code, but mostly rely on functions in the predictive maintenance and the statistics and machine learning toolboxes. This is the algorithm developer's machine. Here's the function we're going to deploy, process motor data. It receives a batch of motor data and passes that data to our two machine learning algorithms, detect anomaly and remaining motor life. And then it formats the results into a structure suitable for sending back across the wire to the client. Process motor data stores each machine learning model outside of MATLAB in a persistent data cache. Why? Well, after using a worker to process a request, MATLAB production server clears the state of that worker, so computations from one request cannot side effect the next request. But these incremental learning models improve as they process data. They're more like outputs than side effects, and by placing them in the data cache, the models are preserved for the next request. Before deployment, the algorithm developer runs a test. Test motor data calls process motor data and returns the results. Because process motor data uses the data cache, before the test runs, the developer attaches the data cache to their MATLAB session with a cache controller. Then they can run the test. So that shows process motor data running locally in this MATLAB session. In a minute, you'll be able to see the which command showing me that we're calling a function in my current directory. And that's what you'd expect from the algorithm developer's MATLAB session. So how do we get process motor data deployed to MATLAB production server so other MATLAB sessions can access it? Production server compiler packages algorithms for deployment to MATLAB production server. Add the function you'd like to deploy and click Package. And Production Server Compiler produces a deployable CTF archive. To use MATLAB Client, you must include a MATLAB function signature file. Just click this button. To save time, I've packaged process motor data already, so we can move to the next step, deployment. This is the Production Server dashboard. I've started this instance with four workers. To deploy an application to it, I click into the Applications tab and then click the Deploy button. I select the Process Motor Data Archive, enter a little description, and upload it. The developer is done. Well, the algorithm developer at least. Now the client developer gets to work. First, they need to connect their MATLAB to the deployed Process Motor Data function. We manage that connection with MATLAB add-ons. A MATLAB add-on is just that, a feature you can add to your MATLAB. Currently, there are two sources for MATLAB add-ons, MATLAB Central and instances of MATLAB Production Server. Use the tool strip to open the MATLAB add-on manager. That'll show us what add-ons are already installed. You can see there's only one, MATLAB Client for MATLAB Production Server. Now we're going to use the install command to create an add-on from our deployed process motor data function. We need to know two things, the name of the archive and the network address of the MATLAB production server hosting the archive, localhost 9910. If you're more comfortable using an app, you can start Prod Server Add-on Explorer. The app shows us that process motor data has already been installed from localhost 9910, so we won't do it again. Now the client developer can call process motor data. For the most part, process motor data looks and behaves like an ordinary MATLAB function. Let's take a look at how to use it. The which command shows process motor data in the add-ons folder instead of the client developer's project folder. And that's what you'd expect on the client developer's machine. But that doesn't tell us very much about the function itself, only where it's found. So let's take a look and see what help says about it. This looks like the kind of help you'd find for any well-documented MATLAB function. Here's how to call it, for example. But there's a note at the end of the help which tells us this function is hosted by MATLAB Production Server. And that's how that we can tell that it's a little bit different than an ordinary MATLAB function.
Now we know how to use it, let's take a look at the code. After all, there might be some interesting tricks in there. Wait, there is no code. There's only help text in this file and some deployment related pragmas. Any intellectual property in this algorithm is secured by AES encryption on the MATLAB production server host machine. So now let's take a look at how the client can call process motor data. When you push the visualize button on the MATLAB app you see on the lower left, the app calls this function, validate models. Validate models reads the motor data and sends it in batches to process motor data. As the results from each batch return, validate models updates a graph. To visualize data captured from a motor, I select a directory full of motor data files. I know that motor data 5 is nearing the end of its remaining useful life, so we'll take a look at that data. I'll open up the dashboard again so you can see the app sending requests to MATLAB production server. Initially, all we see is startup activity. Now requests start to arrive, and you can see the throughput rise to about 6 requests per second. Most of that time is spent computing with the machine learning models. So far, I've demonstrated centralized management and intellectual property protection. Algorithms deployed to MATLAB Production Server also scale. That is, MATLAB Production Server automatically adds capacity in response to increased demand, within limits, of course. The dashboard for our server shows we have four workers available. That means we can handle at least that many simultaneous connections. You can see here that the throughput zero, so nothing's happening. You'll have to imagine that each of these three MATLAB apps are running on different machines. Perhaps we have three engineers, each looking at the data from a different motor. As they're working with the predictive maintenance client, you can see the demand on MATLAB production server increasing. But the throughput increases too, to roughly 18 requests per second. That's horizontal scaling. MATLAB production server activates more workers as the demand increases. That wraps up the demo. If you're interested in exploring this feature further, you can get MATLAB Client for MATLAB Production Server for MATLAB Central. Install it by clicking Get Add-ons on the MATLAB Toolstrip and searching for it by name. Finally, if you'd like more about the machine learning algorithms, I'll refer you to this conference talk where one of our machine learning experts presents the mathematics behind the code. Thanks for watching.